In this video, I'm going to teach you how to become a consistently profitable forex trader by replicating the foolproof business model of the casinos. So let's get started. I know that a lot of you would be shocked to hear this, but the truth is, speculating in the financial markets has a lot in common with gambling. I'm pretty sure you know what a casino is, don't you? Well, for those of you who don't, a casino is basically a public room where gambling games are played. Now let me ask you a question. In gambling, who always loses money? If your answer to that question was the gambler, then guess what? Your answer is correct. The gamblers always lose money and the casinos always make money. In order to be able to make money through forex trading on a consistent basis, you're going to need to adopt the mindset of the casino and you'll also need to avoid the mindset of the gambler at all cost. To help you better understand exactly what I mean, let's talk a little bit about how the casino makes money through a game which is commonly known as the American Roulette. In the game of American Roulette, there's this giant wheel which is made up of even and odd numbers. This wheel has a little spinning device in its middle. Every time a bet is placed on the roulette table, the spinning device in the middle of the roulette wheel is going to get spun and then a little ball is going to get thrown on the roulette wheel. If the ball lands on the number or the color which the roulette player initially placed the bet that it would land on, the player wins and the casino loses. On the flip side, if the ball fails to land on the color or the number which the roulette player placed the bet that it was going to land on, the player is going to lose that bet to the casino. It's really that simple. A typical American roulette wheel is made up of 18 black numbers, 18 red numbers, and 2 green numbers. Now in order to play this game, players would need to place a bet on the ball landing on either a red or a black number after the roulette wheel must have been given a huge spin. So for example, if a roulette player placed a bet that the ball would land on a black number and then it landed on a red number, that player is going to lose the money he placed on that bet to the casino. So how do casinos ensure that they'd always end up making money in this game of chance? Well, what they do is, they simply rig the game in a way that gives them a statistical edge over the players. Many gamblers think that they've got a 50-50 chance of winning when they place a bet against the casino on the roulette table. But the truth is, they are actually wrong. And this is simply because the casino has rigged the game in such a way that there are 18 red numbers and 18 black numbers on the roulette wheel. However, there are also two green numbers on the roulette wheel. So for example, if a player places a bet that the roulette ball would land on a red number and then it ended up landing on a green number, the player is still going to lose that bet to the casino. Likewise, if a player were to place a bet that the ball would land on a red number and then it ended up landing on a green number, the player would still lose money and the casino will win. So, if a player was to bet on the roulette ball landing on a black number, what are the odds that that player is going to be right? Well, the player's odds of being right is actually 18 out of 38 since there are 18 black numbers and a grand total of 18 red numbers, 18 black numbers, and 2 green numbers on the roulette wheel. When you do the math, you'll see that the odds of a roulette player winning a bet against the casino is only about 47.4%. Now pay close attention to this. The casino's odds of winning a bet which is placed on the roulette table is not 18 out of 38 like that of the roulette player, but instead, the casino's odds of winning a roulette bet against the player is actually 20 out of 38. And this is simply because the casino is also going to win if a bet is placed on the ball landing on a black or red number and then the ball ends up landing on a green number. As a result of this, the casino's chance of winning a bet against the player is actually 52.6%. This simply means that the casino has got a 5.2% edge of winning a bet which is placed on the roulette table against the player. And this, ladies and gentlemen, 
is the statistical edge which ensures that the casino is going to always end up making money at the cost of the roulette player in the long run. So what exactly does this 5.2% edge which the casino has got over the roulette player actually mean in practical terms? Well, it simply means that in the long run, over a large number of bets, the casino is going to end up making 5.2% of the total money which was bet on the roulette table. So for example, if $10 million worth of bets were placed on the roulette table, the casino is going to end up making 5.2% of all of that money. And how is that possible, you ask? Well, let's assume that 1,000 bets were placed on the roulette table and each bet was worth 10,000 US dollars. If you could remember, I just told you that in a typical bet on the American roulette table, the player only has a 47.4% chance of winning while the casino has a 52.6% chance of winning, didn't I? If the casino won 52.6% of the 1,000 bets which were placed on the roulette table, they'd end up winning about 526 bets. And since the casino would have lost 47.4% of the 1,000 bets which were placed on the roulette table to the players, they'd only lose 474 bets. As a result of this, the casino would have made about 5,260,000 US dollars from the 526 bets which were winners and it would have lost about 4,740 US dollars from the 474 bets which were losers. Now, when you subtract 4,740,000 US dollars from 5,260,000 US dollars, you'll discover that the casino would end up with a net profit of about 520,000 US dollars from the 1,000 bets which were placed on the roulette table. And that is one of the reasons why the casinos will give free food and free entertainment to gamblers trying to encourage them to stay in the casino and keep playing games. The casino does this because it knows that the more gamblers play, the more money they're going to bet. And this would translate into more money for the casino in the end. It's really that simple. But even though the casino knows that it's got an edge over the players on the roulette table, they know that the outcome of each individual bet they are going to take is random. So for example, if someone was to walk into the casino and exchange $1 billion into chips, and then that person was to walk up to a roulette table to place a billion dollar bet on the ball landing on black, the casino is not going to take the other side of that bet. And this is simply because the casino knows that the outcome of each individual bet is random. Just think about it for a minute. If the casino were to accept this player's billion dollar bet, they could end up losing the bet and when that happens, the player could end up owning the casino. And this is the reason why the dealer on the roulette table would just tell this person that they've got table limits. Casinos use table limits to simply place a cap on the amount of money which can be placed on a single bet on the roulette table. The reason why casinos do this is simply because they know that their edge is only going to play out after they must have taken a large number of bets. Casinos know that in the short term, the outcome of each individual bet they are going to take against the players are random. Players could have a winning streak and the casino could have a losing streak. But in the end, the casino knows that it's always going to make money because of the edge it's got over the players. Casinos use table limits and professional traders use a maximum risk per trade. A professional trader knows that, just like the casino, the edge of their forex trading strategy is only going to play out after they must have taken a large number of trades. In the short term, they could have winning and losing streaks and that's all part of the game. But as long as they stick to the rules of their forex trading strategies, they're going to end up making money after taking a large number of trades. Well, since you now know how the casinos tilt the odds of winning in their favor in a roulette game, I'm going to teach you how professional forex traders earn consistent profits through trading the spot forex market by replicating the business model of the casino. But before we dive into that, let me tell you why 95% of the people who trade the forex markets are going to lose money.
One of the main reasons why inexperienced forex traders lose money on a consistent basis is simply because they trade without a strategy which gives them an edge over the markets. So for example, when you ask most forex traders what their chance of being right is when they go long on a currency pair, they'll tell you that it's 50-50 because price either goes up or it goes down. And I know that you're probably thinking to yourself that if the odds are 50-50, it's really not that bad now, is it? Well, in reality, it's actually worse than that. For most traders, their emotions cause them to lose more money when they're wrong and they only make back a small amount of profits when they're right. So for example, let's say you went long on the Euro USD currency pair because you thought that it was going to go up, but after a couple of hours, it started to go down. Now, instead of following the rules of your Forex trading strategy and taking a small loss, you kept telling yourself that it's going to go up, it's going to go up, until what would have been a small loss balloons into a really big loss. On the flip side, when you take a trade and you start making a little bit of money from it, you get so scared of losing the little money which you've made until that causes you to get out of the market with a small amount of profits. In the examples which I just gave you, you could see that your emotional attachment to instant gratification caused you to take small profits and your fear of losing money caused you to end up losing even more money. These are the types of behaviors which caused inexperienced forex traders to lose money through forex trading on a consistent basis. Now, even if you were right about 50% of the time, you're still going to find it difficult to make money when your average losses are much larger than your average wins. At the end of the day, you're always going to lose money if you keep trading like this. But on the contrary, professional forex traders always manage to make money through spot forex trading. And why is that so? Well, it's simply because they replicate the foolproof business model of the casinos. Just moments ago, I explained to you how the casinos legally rigged the game of American Roulette to give themselves an advantage over the players. Now I'm going to share with you how professional forex traders rig the spot forex trading game to give themselves an unfair advantage over the markets just like the casinos. You see, for most forex traders, the chance of winning a trade is only 50-50 because price is either going to go up or down. However, professional forex traders study the markets for repeatable price patterns and this gives them the ability to enter into the markets with a trade when the odds of winning are stacked in their favor. For example, during an uptrend, there's a high probability that price is going to go up. But is it a guarantee that price is going to go up? Well, of course it's not because price could still go down if it wants to. But when we go long during an uptrend, our chances of being right is higher than 50-50. It's not 100%, but it's definitely more than 50-50. You could say that there's a 60% chance that price is going to go up in an uptrending market and a 40% chance that it could reverse against us. So in this case, what's our edge over the markets? Well, our edge over the forex markets will be 60 minus 40, which is about 20%. Well, guess what? 20% is way bigger than the puny little 5.2% edge which the casino uses to make millions of dollars from the roulette bets I explained to you earlier on in the video on a consistent basis. Now, even if you're only right 55% of the time and you're wrong 45% of the time, you would still end up with a 10% edge which is still higher than the casino's edge. So being a professional trader is actually better than owning a casino when you think about it. And that's not even the best part. You see, when the casino bets, it only bets one for one. In trading terms, the casino has only got a risk to reward ratio of one is to one. When a $100 bet is placed, the casino will lose $100 when it loses and it would only make $100 when it wins. But as professional forex traders, we rarely bet one for one. Professional forex traders always look to bet a minimum of one for two. In other words, we only risk $1 on a trade with the aim of making $2 or more. And how do we make this happen? Well, this is done by placing a stop loss which would limit the amount of money we will lose when we are wrong 
and a profit target which will guarantee the amount of money we'll make when we're right. For example, a professional trader knows that during uptrending market conditions, there's a higher probability that price is going to keep forming higher highs and higher lows. As a result of this repeatable pattern in the market's price action, we know that price is much more likely to keep moving higher and higher up during an uptrend. But are we 100% certain that price is going to keep going up during an uptrend? Well, of course not. It's just a probability which is better than a 50-50 chance. And this is simply because price could easily reverse to the downside and break below previous support levels like a hot knife slices through butter. But based on the repeatable pattern of price forming higher highs and higher lows during an uptrend, there's a high probability that it is going to keep rising up. And this is why we're only going to go long during an uptrend and short during a downtrend with a predetermined stop loss which will get us out of the market when price fails to continue trending so that we'll get out of the market with a small loss when we're wrong and a profit target which is at least twice the size of our risk per trade so as to ensure that we'll always make twice the amount of money we're risking on a trade if our forecast is correct. And just like the casino, Professional forex traders know that after placing a large number of trades, they're going to always end up making money because of this unfair advantage which their trading methodology gives them. Now here's my question for you. Can you stick to one forex trading strategy and take 100 trades with it without allowing your emotions to get the better side of you since you know that that is actually what you need to do to make money through forex trading on a consistent basis?